60 or 70 percent of the world's population. They're going to die. They're going to perish. 60 or 70 percent are going to perish. For the lack of those things, I'm telling you right now, water, food, substance, pestilence, and civil war and civil stripes, that's coming. And the black folk are totally ill-prepared. And I've told them over and over again what to do. And one of the first things I said to do is this, build your communities, your separate communities, they learn how to, how to, how to close them and build your own economies in there and take care of your own econo eco economics. And that way you can create products, services, and goods and jobs and wealth building opportunities for your own people. But unfortunately, they didn't do it. I told them to start preaching to everybody that you are exceptional people. That was way before the pandemic heard that you are special people. And I don't hear any blacks going out saying that. None of the black leaders are gonna say that you accept their people. They still allow anything that comes out to be for everybody, not specifically for black folk. And all these other fabricated minorities are being equalized and compared to black folk and taught not to share it. And that's what the Democratic Party has messed up again, doing the same thing they've always done, is always take black folk for granted and, put, and their entire plan for, the, for the, after this election is to come up with all these grandiose programs that they extracted out of the federal directory that it talks, talks about everybody. All they stuck in there was a, a, a tool of words, Afro-American stuck in occasionally in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the writings to give the impression that somehow that was for black folk. Anything for, for, for everybody it means nothing for black folk. And so consequently, mm -hmm. that's where we are right now. The Democrats have a plan for after this election, but it's gonna provide nothing for black folk, absolutely nothing. As a matter of fact, that plan is an insult to black folk. Now, people say, well, Dr. Adams, when you say those kind of things, you're suppressing the black vote. Nope, I've never suppressed the black vote. What has suppressed the black vote was the United States Constitution. That's what suppressed the black vote. It's been suppressing the black vote now for 460 years. You know what else suppresses the black vote? A massive, unending influx of immigrants into this country. That's been suppressing the black vote. Right now, Hispanics now have surpassed you, and they are now bragging about it. I got three books from Hispanic, popular books. They call it a presumption.